Hello, what's up you guys? Uh, today I'm gonna take you to, to paradise, to simply paradise. Uh, I'm gonna be in Mau Am right now, in Mauritius. And I also will answer all the questions about how does the cabin crew layover look like, what we can do, what we have to do, what we have to remember about, etc, etc. So follow me if you want to spend this layover with me. I have arrived to the HQ and now there's gonna be time for me to do a PCR test before the flight. I'm a little bit earlier, so yeah, let's do it. I'm negative. I'm actually positive, but I'm negative. <laughs> Okay, so I'm having my pre-flight duties here in uh, Costa because obviously as a cabin crew our fuel is coffee. <laughs> it's uh, 11.37 so my time reporting for duty is 12.20 and I'm going to Mauritius. Mauritius. I'm also hoping for a little applause as today is the first day in my life when I did the French roll. So, you know, it took me two hours. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope my precious hairstyle will stay with me after seven hours. See you tomorrow in the morning. Hi, hello, I'm in my room, uh, yes, full of energy, flawless, uh, after 8 hours flight, you know, 7 hours flight and sleepless night, it's 10.30, I'm in my lovely room, the room is wow, and the place is wow, look at this, I mean, I have also my private spa for today. Hey, you guys. Uh, we reached the place. We have a, a lovely 36 hours layover and we are in a beautiful resort. I'm gonna show you around later. We did on arrival another PCR, uh, PCR, rapid PCR test. So I did already two PCR test today and I'm negative, safe and sound, uh, I can enjoy it here. To be honest, now I'm representing all the crew facing very hard decision. Should we enjoy the paradise here or enjoy the paradise here? Because after such a sleepless night, we either enjoy it there and being still sleepless or have a nap. Last time I had a quick nap there on the sofa listening to the birds. This time I'm not gonna sleep at all. Okay, I'm basically ready. I don't really know how did I pack myself this time, but I'm having basically this lovely rope and I'm gonna walk like this because I didn't really take any any kind of like blouse or I just have this raincoat and one dress. So I'm just missing Xanax and I would be completely forgiven. <laughs> the weather is really cool as for the rainy season. Now it's the rainy season so it's supposed to be super showery and it's not. So there is a little bit of sun here. <laughs>
today was like someone dropped me on paradise island for the sea uh, the very refreshing wind the super you know warm weather the sun is just slightly touching your skin because there is a lot of clouds and there you have pina colada near the pool and now it's 6 p.m and i'm ready to sleep it's still uh, light outside this is so relaxing i swear i feel like i'm on a therapy good night see you tomorrow listen to this Good morning! It's 8 am. Oh my god, I woke up like just like in American movies, fully dressed up and with the makeup ready to go out. I'm joking, uh, it's 9, it's not 8. Uh, however, I woke up at 8 and um, uh, I was sleeping from 5 pm till 8 am straight. Right now I'm going for my breakfast and ready to enjoy my uh, one day, another day of this mini vacation. I will show them how hungry is the person that slept. I think 14 hours. Yeah, I actually made... <laughs> I made like two days in one almost. <laughs> Hello again, I guess there's no better time to talk with you guys than being after delicious breakfast, fresh fruits with the ocean view and slept sleeping for 14 hours. Yeah, I wanted to talk with you about our layover in Mauritius. We came here on our duty and we had to report ourselves two hours before the departure time. This time was even earlier just because we had to do the PCR test and uh, it doesn't, it is not mandatory for each flight, but for those ones that are mandatory, we have to come even three hours before the flight. So we did the PCR test. As you could see, I also had other pre-flight duty. Uh, so then we go to our briefing room, we gather all together in one room preparing ourselves for the flight, we gather all the information about our passengers, about our flight so we check the documents, so we are fully prepared we take off and then what happens on board stays on board and then we, f we land and we are basically dead tired so that's what i said we are superheroes it was like let's count we were on board around seven hours then two hours before that makes it nine then one hour after the flight so that makes it ten yeah so that was a 10 hour beautiful night and we are landing we are having our baggage usually we do have our like smart queue, especially for the queue that we can just pass through immigration quickly so we get our luggage and there is waiting for us the bus and the bus is taking us to the hotel always there is a bus and a hotel organized by the, um, by the company we never have to organize anything and I also had some questions about this because imagine like yesterday we had our big big air bus we had I think 26 crew on board imagine 26 people organizing something by themselves disaster right so yeah we do have everything everything organized uh, and then we are we are uh, in the hotel we check in very quickly everything is very quickly because everyone knows we are tired and there we are we having an amazing 36 amazing hours to enjoy it by ourselves 
How amazing is that? And also, we don't choose our hotels, it's the company who decides that either we stay on the airport or either we stay somewhere in the resort or either we stay somewhere in the city center. And what next? I will tell you later at the beach because I want to use the sun that we are having. The view from my room is just like you can't get enough. It is so calming, this terrace. Itu von Felek. That's the proper rain, but no one bothers. I miss the rain. And it's still warm, I don't mind 30 degrees. <laughs> just met the whole crew at the pool even there is our crew and there is a next crew uh, that arrived at the same time as we did yesterday so basically this is a crew hotel because there's not even so many people because it's rainy season and there is not such a touristic time but the plus of the rainy season is that there is no one at the beach I am at the beach, I think I'm gonna jump right into the sea, it feels so refreshing. One question that I also got was about the rules. So are we having any rules that we need to follow? Obviously we do have rules like, yeah, but they are pretty decent. Basically nowadays for every desti destination we have to follow some guidelines. In some destinations you can go out, in some destinations you should remain in the hotel. And in some, this, that means like you can use, use the hotel facilities where you cannot go out and in some hotels you can not even leave the rooms. So in Mauritius, in this destination, we should not leave the hotel. That's why I'm still here all the time in the hotel. Someone once asked me if we are allowed to have uh, alcohol. Obviously, did you see the pina colada yesterday? <laughs> yes, I had uh, some alcohol, but it has to be until some you know you have to always think about it that there is some of your colleagues your seniors also in the same hotel so you cannot go wild you know let's say or maybe you can but it's like on your responsibility and also before the flight obviously uh, we cannot drink uh, at least 12 hours so that we have to always have in mind <laughs> very peaceful smells of wood there is no one except two meditation fans there is one here Vision, and there is another one he's a little bit more lazy hi Hello. hi You know what? I'm wearing this very cool two-piece set and it's a raincoat and when I bought it and then I'm thinking actually where are you gonna wear the raincoat that is divided into two pieces with an open belly and you know what? I will just tell you three words yoga in Mauritius <laughs> yoga in Mauritius in a rainy season. The time has come. I used it because I forgot to tell you there is no need to go anywhere out from this hotel. They 
provide you with the full set of activities per day. Every day is something different. One green takeaway? Yes. Okay, my food is getting ready and I'm gonna prepare another pre-flight beauty that is my bath, cold bath. I think I burned myself. And also, you know you're old when you're caring with yourself, peel organizer. As I wanted something original from here, there is a... I've ordered a green Thai curry. I have more, a little bit more than one hour. I burned myself so bad. Next thing that's gonna happen in about a couple of minutes, and basically the very sad thing is that we are receiving a wake up call every hotel, every destination, one hour before the pickup time. And that means that in one hour we have to be downstairs and the bus is waiting for us. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to get ready in about 1 hour and 10 from now on. And by the way, we have to pick up this phone. We have to pick up this phone because it's a confirmation that we are um, ready and we are in our room at this time. We have to be in our room and we have to pick up this phone. Otherwise, yeah, that's an issue. Good evening, do we support? Yes, thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you for watching, thank you for being with me and see you soon.